Hi guys, welcome back to another video. If you are planning to make a wireless robot for Robo Soccer, Robo Race, and other robotic competitions, then this video will help you a lot. There are multiple ways in which you can make a wireless robot. So the first and the straightforward way is to use the breast speed controllers. So this is how the breast ESCs looks. And I have already made a separate video on building a bot using this ESCs. So the only problem here is the cost of the ESCs. Each ESC can cost more than 2500 rupees. If you have tight budget for the project, then it's difficult to spend more on these ESCs. As an alternative solution, we had made a robot using the Arduino board and BTS 7960 motor driver. Most of the subscribers are using this concept and participating in many competitions and I have also received many positive feedback. The only problem here is it needs programming and more connections. If you are a beginner, you might feel some difficulty to set up. So in today's video, I'll be showing you one more method, which is very simple, cost effective and does not need any Arduino and programming. So let's begin with the steps. First, we need four motors, clamps, wheels and a wooden board to make a robot body which I already have. Here I have used 12 volts 500 RPM Johnson gate motor. The right two motors are in parallel connection. Similarly, the left two motors are in parallel connection. The final positive and negative terminals I have taken top separately for right and left side motors. With the bot mechanical design you can make according to your own requirements. In this video, I'll mainly focus on the electronics part. Next, I'm using Flysky FS i6 transmitter and receiver. To control both the side motors, we need two BTS 7960 motor drivers. These are high current drivers and can handle up to 27 volts and 43 amps. So still you can use this to control e-bike motors. Next, we need two 5 volts servo motors. I am using SG90 model. Since I'm using 12 volt motors, I'm going with 12 volts LiPo battery as a supply for the motors. The components we have selected here, like the motor driver, servo motors, and the receiver needs 5 volts for the operation. So additionally, I'm using this buck converter, which converts 12 volts to 5 volts. And finally, some jumper wires and breadboard for easy connections. In this servo motors, we need only the internal electronic circuit part. So we'll quickly remove the circuits from both the motors.
in the same way I have also removed the second one moving on to the connections first I'll take the 5 volts supply from the buck converter onto the breadboard so this line will be 5 volts and this line will be ground the VCC and ground of this BTS driver goes to the 5 volt supply R enable and L enable pins both will go to plus 5 volt the RPWM and LPWM main control pins should be connected to the controller circuit we removed from the servo motor we can use this first set for the right side motors in the same way we'll prepare one more set for the left side motors the VCC and ground goes to the common 5 volt and ground on the breadboard right and left enable pins to the 5 volt positive RPWM and LPWM goes to the second servo motor circuit moving on to the receiver we need to provide 5 volts for its operation we can use this B slash VCC port here the center pin is plus 5 volts and the bottom one is ground so this also can be connected to the same 5 volt supply on the breadboard for the robot control I'll be using the channel 1 and channel 2 of the receiver so the right side controller will go to channel 1 and here the signal pin which is the orange wire should come at the top the left side controller will go to channel 2 now we are left out with the motor and the power supply connections on the back side of the driver we can see the indication the B plus and B minus terminals of both the motor drivers will be directly connected to 12 volt power supply At last, M plus and M minus ports go to motor terminals. These two for right side motors and these for left side motors. That's all the connections. Here, just for proper demonstration, I have used a breadboard. In your case, you can solder all these wires according to the circuit and make it more compact to keep all the components on the board. Just for the demonstration purpose, I have kept all the things at the top. Next, we have to do some settings on the transmitter 
this is the channel 1 and this is channel 2 for robotic movements we have to mix both of these channels for that go to setup first I'll show the default settings in the display so as we can see both of these channels are moving separately to mix them go to le1 and turn this on and long press cancel button to save now in the display we can see both of these are mixed we are done with all the steps now I'll switch on the transmitter and connect the So here we can see the motors already start running even though I have not given any input from the transmitter. This is because these encoders from the servo motor circuit are not in the center position. So using the screwdriver you can try to rotate on both the sides and see where the motor stops. So repeat the same for both the encoders. Now the motors have stopped. If I move the transmitter stick to forward direction, the left side motors are running in the forward direction as expected, but the right motors are going backward. For this, we have to just interchange the connections of the motor terminals. So this is my right motor connections. I'm interchanging them. So again trying the forward direction. Now we can see all the motors are running forward. Now I'll move the transmitter stick towards the left. In this case the right side motor should turn forward and left motors should go backward. In our case they are rotating in wrong direction. For that we have to swap the channel 1 and 2 connectors. like this everything looks fine now I'll keep this board down and we'll do the basic testing In comparison with the Arduino based solution, I can feel this is more smooth and have accurate control. So this is how you can make a very good bot for the competition even without using breast controller or Arduino board. I hope this video will be helpful. If you have any doubts let me know in the comment section below and for the circuit diagram 
visit the link from the description box thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one